All right, guys, we're back with another one. And this is the Bose Quiet Comfort 25 versus the Audio Technica ATH M50X. All right, so this Bose Quiet Comfort 25, let's go through it real quick. Now, it's white. Um, it has this beige leather type feel, which is not leather because as I smell it, it, it doesn't have any smell like leather. So it's not leather. Um, this band feels really comfortable, but I find that this band over time is going to collect a lot of dirt. So I would have liked if they would have continued with the same plastic material throughout the uh, headphones. Um, inside, you can see the cups. They pretty much go real deep, angled to your ear, which is really cool. And it really adds to a comfortable feel um the silver here that look a little aluminum i wish they really went with a little bit more premium um you know they could have gone with a little aluminum plate but this is this is definitely a uh, plastic but it's a nice look they did a good job on the design of the headphone the feel the lightness i guess maybe that's why they went throughout plastic because it's a very very light headphone and you can go long listening periods with these headphones. Also, this has a a little toggle here for um, basically quieting your surroundings, otherwise known as noise canceling. These are part of the noise canceling headphones you get with a, a lot of different headphones. And I'm gonna explain further what I think about the noise canceling it has mics which you would expect um here's your one-sided uh, port you know to, to attach your cord it's not wireless and but it's a very nice looking comfortable headphones but now we come to the ATH M50 which really has become a hit a lot of fans a lot of people enjoy these headphones it started with the ATH M50s now you know the M50X the only difference basically between the um, M50s and the M50X is basically you can plug this in and out, which on the M50s you couldn't, and you turn it to lock it in. So that's a real good look, but they're classic headphones. These will, I wouldn't say they're the top headphones, but they're up there. They have a very large fan base. And it's a very good headphones. Also, these these are not leather, but I'm I'm telling I'm telling you, it smells a little bit like leather. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure because I go by feel. I don't go by what's written down. I don't go by the hype. I go by what I feel and what I see. These are really comfortable, and they seem to be very much holding up. Now it doesn't angle to your ear, but that's still okay because it's. It's very, very well designed cups. Um, your air is not pressing against the insides or anything like that. And again, they continue that leather feel up on the top. And again, smelling it. No, it doesn't smell like leather. It smells like plastic, but it has that definite feel of leather. Maybe a little bit better than the bowls, in my opinion. Now they're going with the black, a little bit of silver, and if you guys know me and know my channel, I love black, I love everything black, and I really like the design. Now it can open up really wide, you don't have to worry, both of them actually, both of them are, are well able to support, you know, larger size heads like mine, and they're very good headphones. So we're now going to go into the sound, and then I'm going to talk further. All right, full volume. This is with the noise canceling off. Turn on the noise canceling. Noise 
canceling on. Noise canceling off. Noise canceling on now. volume these are the ATH and 50s guys straight up what what I believe I have no bias to none of these products I didn't get them for free I didn't they didn't get them they didn't, the company didn't give it to me for free so I'm gonna tell you right now these bowls you heard the sound you guys could be the judge for yourself but I'm telling you right here this noise canceling toggle is a gimmick this noise canceling toggle all it is is a volume boost. I find it to be a volume boost, a little boost to everything, a little boost to the bass. All it is is giving you more sound to hide out more background. I don't find this to be noise canceling at all. I am not sold on these noise canceling headphones. So as purely as headphones, putting on the noise canceling, yeah, you get a extra boost in volume which makes the headphones sound a little bit better it takes it from cheap headphones to a little bit you know a little bit better a little more premium it so in other words a regular hundred dollars in change headphones and then I guess that little extra boost takes it up a little bit more but I'm not impressed I'm not impressed by the noise canceling but sound for sound they both sound very close. The Audio Technica, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. I did a lot of listening with both these headphones, especially the Audio Technicas, because I was really trying to find fault. I was trying to find problems with these headphones. And I don't. I mean, it's not a bass heavy headphones at all. You know, it doesn't have no gimmick to it. It's just a basic headphones. You adjust the volume where you want it to be. If you adjust the volume very high, you get good quality sound. It's not blowing your ears off, but it, it does cancel out. I guess the way the cups feel against your ears and you don't have no air coming through, basically. I mean, and, and you know what? They found a way 
to not heat up your ears. Your ears, after long listening, your ears doesn't get, it gets warm, but your ears don't get uncomfortably hot. They get warm. And I can say the same for the Bose. It doesn't get uncomfortably hot either, but it cancels out the noise in the background. I did the test with noise, noise canceling. I was in noisy areas. And with these Audio Technicas, you're not hearing anything surrounding you. It is very, very quiet. So you're listening to all your music, all the different sounds, and it really, it really sounds excellent. With the Bose, same situation. Um, you have to put on this noise canceling toggle to get that extra boost of volume so you can't hear your surroundings but you're getting a very good sound. I would say on the level of the Audio Technicas, but it's still lacking. These Bose Q25, for me, for $300, is not at the level of the Audio Technica um, ATH-M50X. It's not at that level. The Audio Technica AT the M50s X for 160, 180, even if you find this for $200, it's a better buy than these bowls. Straight up. So at the end, at the end of everything, when we're talking about comfort, they both got comfort. Yes, the bowls are lighter, but they're both equally as comfortable. When it comes to drowning out your background sound, I would say they both on the same level, but I give it to um, the ATH-M50s for, for drowning out that sound a little bit better, even though it's not a noise canceling headphones. So are these worth the $300? Like I said in the review, no. Are they worth about 200, 220? Yes, I would say so. Even, I would say even up to 230, these are worth the pickup. They're very comfortable. They're, they're more stylish than they ever was before. Um, I'm worried about long term, how the materials are going to last, how they're going to look. But so far, not bad. But the Bose Quiet Comfort, um, honestly got to take the back seat. Got to take the back seat to the ATH-M50s. Better headphones. They're doing everything the Bose is doing. And a little bit better. The sound quality is excellent. It does, they both don't have much bass. So this is why they they both um, in, is in the same category. They make a good match in pairing up in a battle. But at the end of the battle right here, I got to give it to the M50s. The M50s are a better buy. Better headphones better the dollar so with that guys this is the end of that we'll see you guys in the next one